Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Growing Pains podcast. You are joined Yay. by Fizzle K and Ethan Pizzle. Ethan Pizzle. This doesn't roll as well, does no, it? No, it doesn't. Ethan P. Daddy. No. Ethan P. Pimp. Pimp. Pimpy Pimp Pain. Daddy. Pimp Daddy Pain. Yeah. Oh, Pimp That's Daddy it. Pain. Catch him in a fur coat. Ugh. It's happening. Okay, I like that. Uh, I hope your week's been well. Red flag. What do you mean, what? Pimp Daddy Pain. You like Pimp that? Daddy Pain. Bro's going to own a couple streets. Bro's a couple pimp. corners. Bro's pimping. Essex doesn't know what's hit it. Yeah. Um, how's how's the week been, everyone listening? Hope yours has been well. How's yours been? Uh, all right. Yeah? Yeah. How's yours been? <laughs> Fine, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Um, chilling. Yeah, it's all Hurting. good around here. Huh? It's all good around here. Yeah. Uh, my body hurts. Yeah, I was talking yesterday on a podcast. I'm, I, I feel like I'm trying to outperform my age now. Oh no, you're an athlete now. I am an athlete. The amount of recovery this man has to do. Fuck it, should we just get to it? Listen, yeah. Yeah, me and Faith, me and Faith, me, me, me and Faith, yeah, <laughs> I've been having scraps this week. It's been one of them weeks, so fuck it, let's just do it. We let's, literally haven't spoken. Let's just this have podcast. a fucking <laughs> therapy episode, yeah. So, one of the ones that kicked off. Uh, I essentially, I essentially, so I take care of the kitchen like the sink and stuff like that, whatever. That's my sort of thing. And we take turns putting Olive to bed and doing the night shift. And then the person that doesn't does the house or something like that. So, uh, so Ethan has the one room. I have 10. Just fine. <laughs> what, what, what do we live in? Drake's house. <laughs> what, what, did you I've 10? just worked it out. 10, the, uh, 10 the rooms. The hallway counts as a room. Cause that <laughs> gets, no, that is like shit. And you know that that gets so built and up. The leaves uh, blow in is so annoying. What I'm saying three bathrooms, one, two, three, four, four, five bedrooms. We do have cleaners as well, by the way. It's not like. Well, they're not living, are they? No, but uh, uh, let me explain anyway. So we alternate nights, putting Olive to bed and doing the night shift. Um, and then the other person sort of hoovers and does the house, whatever. Um, it was Saturday night, so I knew that I was just going to do it in the morning. Yeah, but this. So I didn't. But what I did do is I've got the recovery boots that like that squeeze your legs. Already worn, already that day. By the so way, so I've... Rose had to recover twice, acting like it's bend it like fucking Beckham. It's going Sunday league. So then we had, and now he's exempt of helping the family so because he's got to recover <laughs> for fucking Sunday league. So the basically. Pub football. I've started a training program where I'm I'm training twice a day, right? This is why I said I feel like I'm trying to outperform my age, um, which leaves me fucking cooked. So I want to feel better for the next day. And my program doesn't account for the fact that I'm about to play 90 minutes of football. So that's even extra. So the Saturday I'd ran 12K in the morning and then trained in the afternoon as well. So I was a little bit fucking cooked. So I sat in my air compression boots knowing that I was going to do the stuff tomorrow. So I just went to bed after that. But it's all a facade, isn't it? Because the place we went to was the Turkish. Like it, yeah. you've already said, the boxing was on. So by the time we got home, the boxing was actually on on TV yeah. and you wanted to watch it. Yeah. So that's why you didn't put Olive to bed because yeah. it was your turn But to if put I had a bed. choice... Like I said, if I had a choice, I'd put her to bed every fucking night. Yeah, but you didn't want to... easy. But you didn't want to do it that... Because the boxing that was on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't say that. I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, it. you didn't. Right, okay. The boxing was just on. You was like, we never take turns. We don't take turns when we do. We don't take turns. Right. One does it one night, the other one does it the next night. Either way. Just say, I want to watch the boxing. Can you do it? Sure. So that happened. And then that <laughs> Faith was not happy with that. So it's one of my favourite lines. She went, she went, you're not fucking Jared Bowen, mate. Grow up or whatever. Bro, it's so, <laughs> mate, you don't I understand. Myself. Can, <laughs> I, can I just, because I already know that everyone in the comments is going to come for me. And quite frankly, yeah, I don't care for you either. So right, I'm wound up with everyone this week. So bring it on, right? You're not Jared Bowen. You don't understand how much time this man takes to do his sporting events. I've had to borderline give up my horses and hire help. Can I just put that out there? So since I've had my horses, I think I've been in the saddle like fucking four times because I do not have time because for me to ride my horses safely, someone has to be home. And I mean an adult because if I fall off, crack my head open and I'm at home alone with a baby, that's not going to look good. Do you know what I mean? If I pass out, whatever, become unconscious, which happens a lot with horses, that's very, very unsafe to just have a child with you alone. So someone has to be home. Even never has time if it's 
for my hobby. No, I'm at work. Oh, no, I've got to do this. Bro now trains twice a fucking day. He has magic all this time up and then can do 45 recovery, 45 minute recovery sessions in his boots twice a day. This but is like fucking it, three hours it coming out of nowhere when that everything's I couldn't said have. and done with the day that I get the I've only got one hobby and I've fucking had to sack that when, off. When everything gets done in the day, I then get in the boots. I don't just park up during the day and go, all right. But do you train twice a day? I do, yeah. So could I not but, have one of those? Yeah, but you one, you don't you're not gonna ride a horse at like eight if I go for my run at eight or nine in the morning, you're not riding your horse at eight or nine in the morning. No matter what you try and say, you're not gonna do it. I could. No, you could, I but you won't. I was never allocated the no, time you, you could, but you won't. Okay. <laughs> you usually don't get up at that time. Bro, you, I'm you up don't. at like fucking half no. seven with Olive okay. every day. You would, but you, you don't. And then my second training session is when I get in from Prodi, like, a podcast you know you said about that love and fucking marriage counsellor. When's she coming? Like five or six, <laughs> five or six what p.m. What episode is that? I've told you before, just whack the Menage lights on. You won't do it. So They didn't work till like fucking four weeks ago. Well, it's been four weeks and you can yeah, do it. Yeah, we've had hired a woman since then and she's been lame. My other horse, however. No, we, she's been hired for longer than four weeks as well. She's exactly been hired for a point. long time. Thank you for helping. Well, yeah, exactly. You could, uh, you could just ride said your horse. She's been hired for a long time. You Therefore, could, and it doesn't always depend on me being there. Your... You could, you could ask your stable mate to come and ride with you or whatever. And yeah, therefore, cool. got the that's an on. adult. Well, she's not on the horse at the same time, is she? No, she needs someone else to look after her in the house. You, you don't need three people there to ride a horse. You need you on the horse Who's with the horse. Look, what are you so, not understanding? Someone if off I'm, the horse. If I'm on the horse, she's not a babysitter. I'm not just going, oh, I hold my baby. That's not how it works. You're the dad. You have her so I can have some time. Okay, well, unfortunately, End I'm, shooting multiple, on this times, bit I'm because... sh- shooting multiple times a week. And I run and train outside of the hours that you're ever going to ride your horse. So, Yeah, Jared Bowen. Yeah, I am the next coming to Jared Get Bowen. Get him on the fucking training ground. I so. could still go pro. Yeah. To be fair, I film with Chris MD yesterday and oh my god i cooked so when that video comes out i might as well be fucking pro give me the contract yeah yeah Lovely. it was really good uh last night we argued again mm-hmm. um because yep, why was that because faith said uh i've got a pain in my neck and i've got a theragun so she said oh here like can you do it here so started doing it there faith which she said it bounced off my bones faith by the way which was really rude. isn't the most stacked human or fat. You're not fat or you're not muscly. Yeah, bony. You are quite slim. You are slim. You didn't say so that. So the fucking Theragun goes like... bounced off my bones. Yeah. Like that. Off of off of your back. Like a fucking washboard, yeah. <laughs> so I'm doing it. And then I was doing it down her trapezius. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Down oh, there. Oh, it's also like fucking... At. Got a degree in like the skeletal. I know what muscles are, yeah. Body, yeah. Did that what you said again? No, I said yeah, like two weeks ago, by the way, she started going skeletal. Oh, like it's a what word. Why am I a doctor? <laughs> no. So, anyway, we're watching Love Island. I start Theragun in her back. As I said, oh, by the way, it really hurt. Just saying. Yeah, and then she goes, "All right, do round my shoulder blade." No one ever Theraguns round a fucking shoulder blade. So I well, did that's it. That's where it was hurting. Yeah, but you, I think where I've you got pointed to. Nerve. Where you pointed to, I was doing it up and down on that bit. You don't do under your shoulder blades and that with a Theragun. That's a bit odd. Right. Because it just hurts. It will bounce off the shoulder blade. Like, Ugh. So what it was doing to me the whole time then. Anyway, skip to it. <laughs> Ethan then said, I said, oh, do you want me to like... Do, Let me try do, it on you then. Yeah, do you want me to do it for you? A and started bit? doing it. And, it, and he'd done it. And he was like, ow, ow, <laughs> fuck off. You obviously don't know what you're fucking doing. Get off. And then I was like, okay, why do you that. immediately just I have to shout? I didn't do that, by yes, the way. Yes, you did. I didn't. That's I said, why I had the problem. I said, ow, and, then he, ow. and then I moved sofas, and which you called me a child. So they were shouting and name calling. Yeah, you were being childish. And that's what I don't like. You were being very childish. How? And it's not name calling because you've called me childish before, and I don't go, ow, stop You didn't say childish. You said child. And there's a repeat being offense childish. Yeah, you are being names. a child. You, you are childish. Me a headache. <laughs> yeah, the other day. I so, so Ethan's Cal's got a problem. Ethan has this. a problem Freezy with name calling at the minute. Yeah, yeah Freezy said I have a death wish. But you do. He was being a date at that point, man. He was being a date. Bro, when he says headache, it's just general basic tasks. No, you was, by you the was way. like you was getting at me. You were getting on me. You weren't. Yeah, you because you don't do anything. No, I do do stuff. You was just getting at me, bro. You was getting proper at me. And I was, I uh, just weren't happy. So I said, oh, just give me a date, man. Right, where's that George and Lisa Bags and that? They're all in it. Where's that? Bring a happy couple in. We need some advice. <laughs> Pull Listen, up a chair. <laughs> these things happen, okay? I know life. they're in there somewhere. <laughs> these things happen in life and everyone 
sees tomorrow. Well, have, you never know. Tomorrow isn't promised. Oh, I'm a dead woman when so, this airs. Yeah, bloody hell. Huh? I'm a dead woman when this airs. Cancel culture. Going to love this. Have you, you just, not seen your you feminist just, you crew just, that you've got, bro? I didn't they ask stitch them. They stitched TikToks. To... They stitched TikToks like Ethan Payne makes me sick. Yeah, that's because you shout at me and call me names. They're right. <laughs> shout at you and call you names. Fuck off. They're right. You're just talking nonsense now. I'm going to reshare them. They're right. <laughs> I agree. Let's go, sis. Pop off. <laughs> right. Um, well, you took an autism test and you're autistic. So yeah, that's so rude. So I, on my private autistic. story, I don't put this on my normal Instagram story, but on my f close friends, that's it. My Harry did friends. one on uh, Sidemen channel. Yeah, Harry's autistic. A, a given. <laughs> that's not I don't, I don't, I don't nice. really <laughs> think mine's so obviously <laughs> autistic. Mine would probably be like yeah, hidden I, I, autism. Didn't I say last year at some point? You I made said, me you... do a test and it was said highly autistic as well. But yeah, because I, I said problems, last year, Faith's autistic. Yeah, but because I have problems where I don't really find things funny, I don't really laugh, um, not really a social person, I just think that's called being reserved. And I think you are quite socially inept. Thank you. Um, I don't really know what that means, just not good in social situations. Yeah, you can't read uh, like uh, social No, I just like, think I just don't change. I think I see a lot of people when you're in a room and they were all changed to fit each other's personalities and I'm, I'm just this, like... And I just find it difficult in conversation. Like, I was in Lakeside, actually, and thank you to this girl and her partner come up to me. I said, oh, I love your podcast. I, like, um, I love you so much. I think you're so real with it, bro. I just went, oh, thank you. And I just went, wow, you sound like eight. But I couldn't say anything other than, so oh, like Chris thanks. Love Island. Oh, thanks. Uh, but thank I was you. really <laughs> happy. I was really happy, but I could then feel myself going red. So then I was just so embarrassing, embarrassed in myself that I was going red. And then I wanted to leave, this, completely just leave. Because I was like, oh my God, am I just blushing, feel like I've gone hot or is my face bright red right now? And all I can say is, oh, thanks. Like, do I give you a hug? I don't know what to do. And then I just left. <laughs> so thank you. Bye. Well, how does it feel to be autistic? Yeah, so I did a test anyway. And then it said I had like a third of autism traits from the 50 questions. You are on the spectrum. Yeah, it did say that, yeah. But I think everyone's on the spectrum. I think there is a degree of spectrum in and everyone. By the way, that was a podcast comment. What? You, like, you guys like need to leave her alone. You can clearly see like she's got autism. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you do have the brain of an eight-year-old though. Oh, that's just dyslexic, yeah. Yeah, but they said you've My got the mental age of an eight-year-old. For work, it, how I'd work things out, yeah. Mm. It's not just I want to sit in a playground and fucking sit on a swing <laughs> phone. It's just how would I work this sum out? Can I do it? Probably not, because you're like eight. Doi, doi. And you said that's not real disability as well, so that's another thing to be... When have I said that? I say I'm dyslexic and you say that's not real disability. No, but, no I say you choose when you're dyslexic. No, I because, don't. No, you do. You do. Because when you've, when you've got the ump with like, when you've got the ump with a company or something, yeah, the fucking letter that you, you make is incredible. I would never want to work. I would that never want to do a job for you. I have time. I would never want to do a job for you. You are like, like By I the said, way, you can I just say, craft. if I've sent that, it's often your money that's been spent. So you should say thank you. Here we okay. go. Uh, signs of autism in adults, NHS. Yep. Finding it hard to understand what others are thinking or feeling. Getting very anxious about social situations. You're two for two now. Finding it hard to make friends or preferring to be on your own. Three for three. That Seeming blunt, really rude true. or not interested in others without meaning to. Four for four. <laughs> Finding it hard to say how you feel. Five for five. I uh, don't. I no, feel that's angry. fucking lies, bro. She puts on this hard persona. Yeah, she's soft as shit, but she won't let anyone know that. Uh, taking things very literally. For example, you may not understand sarcasm or phrases like break a leg. Mm. I can understand break a leg. You do take things video. literal though, but you 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 you're right with phrases. Have the same routine every day and getting very anxious if it changes. Mm. No, I don't do much. Uh, not yeah, not not understanding social rules such as not talking over people. Yeah, a lot of people say that in the podcast, sorry. <laughs> well, it's seven, seven out of nine right now. Uh, avoiding eye contact, you're not bad at that. Getting too close to other people, or getting very upset if someone touches you or gets too close to you. Nah. No. Nah. I don't really like people near no, me. No, it's in small details, patterns, smells or sounds that others do not. Have a very keen interest in certain subjects or activities. You've got plain autism. Plain autism. Faith's got plain autism. She, yeah. like, she likes planes, which yeah. is like... It come out of nowhere. Like we'd be in the garden in the summer. She went, wow, look at these planes going by. Oh, that's an old war plane. <laughs> I was like, are you like proper interested in this? She's like, I think they're so cool. Yeah, I don't really like being in them, but I like looking at the cool old old aircrafts and stuff. 
Like to plan things very carefully before doing them. Not at all. No. Not not at I all. I just literally. take life as it comes and go with it. Yeah. Well, I mean, but in that sense, I'm like the most unbothered person because you can be I'm like, "Faith, we've got five minutes to get down to Cornwall," and I'll be like, "All right, well, let's just leave in five minutes then." Mm. And nothing um, will be packed. Just get in the car and go. Well, how does it feel to be autistic anyway? Oh, I might go get it confirmed, and then maybe people will leave me alone. I'm autistic. You can't say that to an autistic person. Can I say this? Well, I'm autistic now, so maybe I can't say are, this. Yeah. Maybe I can uh, say this. You did a cooking video. Yes, I did. Uh, you did a lasagna sheet, 100, 100 layer lasagna. 100 layers, 30 layers, same thing. Fair dues that that even breached 100,000 views. Cause That's rude. That He's is... actually my biggest hater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is... actually my, I say to him, so I'm like, he went, oh, I've watched it. I went, did you like it? He went, no. But I don't like anything on YouTube. So again, you're He's asking... He's got a burner for... account going, ha, ha, no, ha, just asking, pointy nose you're bitch. You're asking <laughs> something do that doesn't exist. I don't like Simon videos. I don't like my own videos. I don't, I don't press the like button. No. No, I don't. I, I watch videos. I fucking press the screen and close them. Uh, you, but since you didn't subscribe to me for like fucking three years anyway, you only recently did it, mate, when you created your channel. You had to earn it. <laughs> I haven't uploaded... I think I've uploaded like four videos since being with you. Well then... It's not earned, is it? And I've still done it. Um, I, I was just trying to get you to Have do you ever that. liked a video? Um, how do I check liked videos? Exactly. That means you haven't. You press the like button. And can I say I don't upload my own stuff? I still don't know how YouTube works. No, she doesn't really get I it. I don't do anything. Um, That's well, going to sound really bad. <laughs> I don't... I do I'd, nothing. I pay okay. everyone else. No, I do obviously do my own channel, but same with Twitter, Twitter and stuff. I'm just really bad at social apps. I can't edit anything. I, I just Twitter. can't work them out at all. Um, brain of an eight-year-old, you yeah, see. This is a TikToker, by the way. Flaws. That's what a TikToker is. You come and I don't from, upload there she's, either. She's a TikToker. That's where you come from. So yeah. you're, you you know how to go. Which me, Josh and all that... I don't say even you, have a laptop. No, me, Josh and that say you're really good for it. Like compared to us... We really shit with like TikTok and stuff. Like, yeah, we don't get it. Yeah. You're really easy to just like, you just find it so easy to just whack it up and make something mm. and it will do well. Mm. Whereas that's because you started on TikTok. We started on YouTube where we think, all right, what's the best way to do this? Bro, Whereas you, you just go bang. You can't say that. You literally ask for a million. I remember it clear as day because I was grinding yeah, on just, my TikTok. That's just had me like views of my power. 500k. No, not even. What was it? Like 100 and something K or something when I met you? Between 1 and 200k when I met him. Um, and then Ethan was like, oh, should I download TikTok? And I was like, sure. And his first video was something was like, hi, everyone. Can I have 1 million followers? Thank you. We love that so much. And then bro literally had a million followers by the time yeah, he woke again, up. Again, that's me just abusing my power as being. So you can be a TikToker. Yeah, but ask I. Ask for 10 mil. I don't want to be no. I don't want to be a TikToker. Mm. I'm quite happy with what I am. Mm. I, d I, d I don't even really think I'm a TikToker anymore. You are. You upload like two or three every week. day. No, week. You, yeah. no, you, <laughs> I upload like two a week. You do upload more than two a week. Do you know what it is? Sometimes I'll upload like, like five, five a day, a day yeah. and then I'll just be silent for what like a month. How do you do that? I, so in my head, sometimes I just don't want to be anywhere or do anything. And then not in a sense of laziness. I just don't want to socially be present. I just like to watch sometimes. And then sometimes I think, oh, you should really make content. I think it depends on my mood. So we... Oh. Look. So I've had so many people, <laughs> including Ethan, <laughs> give me trouble this week. And I've been told by a parcel company to not speak about them on the podcast anymore. <laughs> Sorry, is there a contract? And they're not even delivering our mail anymore. So why should I? This and then we had a neighbour moan about the horses. Well, what the fuck can I do? Listen, they can talk to me, talk to me, and I'll be polite. And I'll, and, but the thing is with people, they don't leave, right? So they're at my door. It's fucking freezing outside. I had wet hair for one of them, dripping wet hair. And it was like fucking zero degrees outside. Borderline getting ice calls, right? At my door, can't say who you are. Yeah, schmoil mal, can't say that. They was at my door talking for the longest time. And then they was going, um... I was being polite. I was going, yes, we can do this. Yes, we can try. Okay, cool. This is absolutely fine. Kept talking. I'm like, what do you want me to do at this point? <laughs> like, I've already said the sweet nothings that you want to hear. Leave. <laughs> like, yeah, I do think you I can't you relate this for another you, hour. You do, you do. Uh, People expect you to just start doing backflips. We can trace this back to while the, they're there. when the, f the company that we're meant to do our, f our flooring uh, and apparently the one of the lorry drivers said that you they said you was hard work. No, that was that was the sofas. <laughs> it's the sofas. The, the and by the way, can I the say to paint the, the picture, Ethan paid ten thousand Great British pounds for these, by the way. Ten thousand pounds. I think they was put off for about seven, eight months. Yeah. And when they was arrived, they was like dirty, damaged, brand new they were meant to be. 
um, just was not right. So I was obviously complaining, chasing to rooms, seeing as we're name dropping everyone. <laughs> you called me hard work. We bought your sofas and then just months, oh, it's not coming. Oh, it's not coming. Oh, whatever. And then they found out you was a celebrity and then it was really, really nice to me I'm about it. But then the delivery drivers are oh, yeah. And they obviously thought I was fine because why wouldn't I, why would I be rude to them? So mm. I was like, oh, do you want a cup of tea? Whatever. I should fucking bring the sofas in. Didn't even unpack them. Whatever. They come in and was like, oh, yeah, we've been told to, um, I don't know if they thought I was a fucking child of the house and was expecting like a 60 year old to come around the corner. It's like, oh yeah, is this all right here though? Because we've been told that the um, the girl can be quite hard work. And I'm like, by who? Tell me her name right now. And did I go back to room saying apparently I'm hard work? Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, like, I'm telling you that, yet. Yeah. Bro, I have time. This is what I say. If I, I have, have time. Be, if I have to be on the other end of faith, yeah, I'd just probably kill myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bazinga's got to leave Faith. She's going to make him kill himself. Listen. No, if he kills himself, that's off his own back. <laughs> oh, you don't care. I have so many DMs going, you don't care about men's mental health. And I'm like, are you joking me? <laughs> are you actually fucking joking me? <laughs> like, Listen. look at the way he's laughing, by the way. That's an unserious fucking man. Uh, Listen, you're my, you're my piece of hard work. Wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. Great. Mwah. Mm. My bundle of graft. You ain't doing no grafting for this. <laughs> no. Put it there. You're going to have to add an instrumental. Instrumental? Is Put it, it there, man. Instrumental. Look, 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 no, don't give me your fucking shoe. High um, five. High I five. Can't. High five. Give me a high five. I don't want to move. Look, look, look this go. Look, <laughs> now it's in my mouth because look, now I've let Whee. it go because it's broken. Oh, now it just fucking stays. Oh, nice. Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you always said that as well. Don't, don't first name me. Oh, mate, the worst thing ever is like, I won't even have done anything, by the way. I'm blissfully unaware that I've not done anything. And she'll start the combo with... By the way, ladies. Ethan. <laughs> I'm like, what are you, what's going on? Or it's not really how it's done, though, is it, Ethan? Whoa. <laughs> you That's really not how it goes, naming. Ethan. Can I just say this is an only child... Yes, who will have people bend over fucking backwards for him the minute he asks. He's coming to money very young. He's got PAs in groups, whatever. This man doesn't have to do anything. So when I go, Ethan, I've washed, dried, folded all your washing, I put it on hand, and can you take it upstairs? And he takes it upstairs. I went, Ethan, you didn't put it away. Like you've been up there two seconds. He went, oh, but I have to put it, what now? Oh, oh what? Like the fucking two whole days I've no, just spent it, doing no, it, but you okay, can't we, put it in your fucking wardrobe. And week. then I go, Ethan, can you just put it away now? No, we spoke Don't about this last name week. me. No, it was, it, it, I had already taken a load up and I was in the, I put a podcast on. No, that was I the was, first time. I was happily. That was the first load. And then I kept bringing more Yes, up. exactly. You was laughing. This yeah, is the issue. funny to me. So I had a podcast on, happily, putting it on a hanger, putting it away, really enjoying my podcast. And then Faith comes in and is like taunting me. That's what I had the issue with. You're, no, you're laughing. Time, yeah. You're pissing yourself, bringing me more piles of washing. Stop taunting me. But I know you, what I've got to do. But Don't you know taunt what's me. funny? So I said to Ethan, Ethan, like he had two wash baskets, by the way, and me and Olive only had one. We had, we had one each, right? Ethan had two full wash baskets. What a fresh, man. This is my issue. So, not last time we went to Dubai, the time before that, sorry, privilege there. The time before that, when we went in September, right? Um, I said, Ethan, this is a joke. I'm not doing your washing anymore. I said, you put far too much in this washing machine. I cannot keep up with it. I don't know where my clothes are. I don't know where Olive's clothes are. Like, I physically cannot stay on top of your wash load. So I said, I'm not doing it. <laughs> How high did your pile of washing very high. get? It yes, was very high. no exaggeration, a five foot pole up on the back door. It went into bags and bags and bags and bags that you was going to have to take round. But I ended up doing it like fucking four months later because I physically couldn't get into the room anymore. No, because it's <laughs> it's it's um, weaponized incompetence, isn't it? Yeah, but you do the same. Oh, no, I don't. I'm the only person. You've never fucking used the washing machine. When does it, why does it matter to you when I fucking do Not my own washing? washing? But you, you've you, never even, you, and this yeah. man, right, the only thing he'll ever put in a washing machine is his football kit. So, so if there's clean clothes in the dryer, he'll just chuck them on the floor or put them on the fucking clothes rack. He won't even fold them and put them in a the basket. So all these freshly dried clothes are just put out to shit in the fucking wash room and he would put his clothes in there. You're not Jared Bowen. <laughs> 
Why are you trying to smell like fairy running around a pitch? What message are you trying to give off, mate? What do you want me to smell like? Shit? Oh, yes. <laughs> That's not my goal, is it? You can't, you can't rock up to football smelling like shit. And do you know the gloves? My gloves? Yeah. Did you run around with nice warm fingers last Sunday? I didn't wear them last Sunday, no. No, you didn't, because yeah, you put you me with this them. stuff and I took them back. Yeah, you hid them. my gloves, yeah. So, me and Ethan, we don't That's properly... really petty, you know, because I laid yes. it all out the night before, ready for football. But they were my gloves, and you was very rude. You, did, you caused an argument about cleaning the kitchen. And you started this podcast off by saying, are you guys having a good time, by the way? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if they're enjoying it, there's some hope for the listeners. Oh, no, hell. this episode's doomed, mate. This oh, we're cancelled after finished this. For the next Our two... relationship is done after this. For the next two weeks, mate, in everyone's eyes, we're finished. Two weeks. So the five people that decided they like me are now going to go back to hating me again. Do you know what's funny, though? Is like people are going to have to understand the young people out there that end up in like long term relationships. Relationship. Every now and then, yeah, you're going to fucking shout and yell at each other. It's just what happens. Yeah. You grind each other's gears. I'll put my tail between my legs and say sorry. <laughs> and then to. everything's okay. No, fuck off. <laughs> You have to. You no, start them. You've got a real issue with the word sorry. Faith will not say it. Because I'm not. Faith, yeah, so what Faith does I'll is... I'll apologise. Yeah, Faith Because I apologise about the Faith situation. Goes, well, I apologise. sorry? But she no. will not say the word sorry. She's got an ego about sorry. No, it's not an ego. It is an ego. It's not an ego. I just think if I feel sorry, I would say sorry. However, if I think you're actually wrong still, but am I willing to get over the argument? Yes, I apologise. For what though? Well, I'll tell you, you what I apologise for. I apologise for the way I spoke to you yeah, and if that well, upset just you. I like saying sorry. But I'm yeah, not. you're going to come to realise... But if I hit someone's dog with my car, am I sorry? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm so sorry well, I hit listen, the dog. Well, listen, all the like 17, 18, however old you are that watch it, when you're 30, you're going to realise this just happens yeah. if you've been with someone that long. Mm. But yeah, fuck it, man. Enjoy your young years. <laughs> oh, mate, yeah, the TikTok like music and they'll caption it. Oh my god, Ethan just broke up with Faith. By the way, there's the reason yeah. oh, Faith's making Ethan kill himself <laughs> with there's the slow be music. So many clips after this, so yeah. I can't bother. But then they won't put this bit in. Oh no, they never do. <laughs> they never do. No. And by the way, it's all like me. Faith speaks to Bazinga like this. Faith doesn't like the way Bazinga does this. There's a trend here. No, you're just being a big mate. <laughs> <laughs> Who me? Yeah. How am I begging it? You just say you're gonna make me want to kill myself. Here you go, bit of ammo. No, I mean like if I was, I don't want as a partner. You're great. I mean like if I was, am I? If I was a carpenter yeah. that had to do door frames in your house or something, I'd run away. Our carpenter did run away. The man that was doing our decking no. run away. Yeah, but he he's he's a fucking idiot. No. <laughs> like, listen. There's a common theme with the people. He that ran away, by the way, house. guys. Like, Ethan is just fine. If he went, oh, I want a hundred grand for that decking. Ethan would be like, yeah, right, fine. <laughs> so good. yeah, I was. I'm essentially the man of labour of our house. Any person that works in our house, I sourced, I found, I yeah. priced. Ethan essentially just paid for it, which is great. But I then have all the headache <laughs> of sorting out with these fucking men with you even paid for the touch-ups to be done on the house have they come back and done it no have you paid for it yes and they said oh we've paid for a deep cleaners i went in there literally fucking nothing you paid 600 quid for that mm. and uh, it didn't do anything a carpenter was meant to come back because the, the 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 decking like floods like you didn't do the drainage floods, system so properly. The, da- the drainage yeah. is it fills up like a swimming pool so it's a sunken fire pit it's a fucking swimming pool um then the actual decking he was like one deck short so he's cut a small tiny bit of square and put, and put it in then he'd done like fake cupboards to block into our um block in our air conditioning that just fell off on its own which could have fell off on our like yeah, six yeah. month old baby at the time yeah. literally just crashed down on its own <laughs> what's he fucking amazing, putting man. it together with <laughs> we've spent like 25 30 minutes just fucking hashing everything out i but, think they'll enjoy this is what it I'm saying. if i if i was employed by you i would run a million miles I but listen would, if you want to work <laughs> at our house make sure you're prepared to do your job that's it if you, if you're gonna skive off and then every every week things are costing like you don't three like four men, grand do you? more, how much your bathrooms cost, Ethan? Oh, lots. Do you want to say? Eighty. Eighty thousand pounds. Ethan paid for four small. By the way, small bathrooms. They're not big bathrooms, no. are they? No. Like they're like half half this. They're they're small bathrooms. Eighty thousand pounds, right? And we just thought. Okay, no one questioned it at that point because there's far too many no, materials. But, it was a good, it was a good but company, there's expanding though. foam. No, it's a good company. There was good, no? No. They've put expanding foam in the drains. 
for our showers. That's yeah, why yeah. nothing drains properly and it fucking stinks because they've ru- rushed it to get it all done. Our fucking tap on the wall bends and folds off and, and I had to moan as well because I was pregnant. So I had a big old belly wrap. When you, they've, it's just fucking backwards, right? So our bath, we have a TV in the bath, which we've never fucking turned on. Anyway, I the have, TV. I have like three times. <laughs> well worth the money there then. So anyway, I'm on the back seat here. The TV is there, right? So the long part where the water runs out on the wall, they've put closest to me, right? Why wouldn't you have just put that on the other side where the shower head is? Like you had to get out the bath, like especially being pregnant. I couldn't get out of the bath. So what's their advice? Don't get in the bath then, have a shower. No, put it in the right fucking place. Obviously, if the TV's there, you put the longest thing obstructing you in the way furthest away. This is why I get the ump, because it's just such simple things. That you feel better? No. You don't feel better? I might call them. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you fucking lazy... <laughs> two plus two is four, right? How are they get five? Like men? No, no. Which is odd because I've got. I like my brothers and my dad. You don't like me. <laughs> I didn't qualify. You don't like me. No, because we got another argument about commitment. Oh. So you lot think I'm begging marriage? I'm not. I will literally go down the courthouse with you and just fucking say married, sign a bit of paper, right? I don't want the whole shebang, all of this, like but. <laughs> Oh no, I am now. And if you're paying hundred grand for a decade, best believe wedding's going wild. I didn't um, pay that for a decade. And oh, I thought about a wedding the other day. So I was in the car listening to um, Coop by AJ Tracy. And then I just thought, why don't we get AJ Tracy to sing at our wedding? No. Uh, Continue. Okay. Um, yeah. So Ethan then goes, oh, you're a headache, things like this. <laughs> thinking that marriage is the form of biggest commitment. Bro's already had a child with me. That is the biggest form of commitment there is. And I say most men propose when you're like pregnant to show a little bit of solidarity. We're in it together. I told you I'm not going anywhere. Neither are you. I might. You can't say things like that because they're going to clip it with the dark music again. You can't say things like that. They're going to clip this whole podcast. If you wholeheartedly believe that, then we've got issues. But you're not. So You literally keep saying, oh... I can't buy this car, can I? Because I'm going to have to propose to you at some point. I do really You make want it, it sound like a task. Oh my God, there's a Skyline R34 that I want now. Mm. Now. I want it this week, actually. Get it and put your dick in the exhaust pipe because I'm out. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> um, right, anyway, should we get on with what's happening in the world? Sure, if we've got any time left on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josh and Freya are engaged. Oh yeah, they are happy, happy couple. <laughs> yes, yeah. they did it, thank God. Uh, 13 years in the making. That is some tough going, that. That's impressive. That she is did, really she's impressive. done well. Well done. They, uh, they're they on holiday in the Maldives. I like how the ring matched the nails. That was actually really good. That was good, wasn't really it? Really yeah. good. Very cute. I said on the sidecast yesterday, though, I feel like we should wait for Josh to tell. Yeah, we won't say no more. No, his side of the story, because it's fucking it's hilarious. It's funny, yeah. It's absolutely hilarious. Yeah, so, it's not our news to tell. No, exactly. But yeah, whoa, big congrats yeah. to them. I like Chunk's comment. I see it. Um, it was <laughs> you like, sure this yeah, you, you sure you're not rushing this, bro? 13 years. We was out for dinner. Yeah. Um, and I was, At the Turkish. Yeah, I, I can say the WhatsApp bit. Josh was in the chat trying to organise like a video that we need to shoot for Sidemen, like in the calendar or whatever. And he said, oh, yeah, can we reorganize this? Because I, whatever. And I put, as a joke, I put, oh, what? Do I need to send a video congratulating Freya and you on your proposal? And then he quoted it and said, oh, no, that is the reason. <laughs> and I went, all right, Josh, you've been serious. So he didn't tell anyone before no. he was going to do it. Yeah, so bro's just trying to organize a video. <laughs> and I went, no, tell me, are you being serious right now? And then he forwarded the picture and I, 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 I took a video of us in a restaurant. I was going, oh my God. Yeah, but listen, I don't know how you can go to the Maldives and not expect to be proposed to. Really? Yeah. Like Cal Freezy's been a taking of his times. missus twice. He's yeah. keeping her on her toes. Yeah. I, I, are Cal, Cal Freezy could not? be next up. Who have we got? Vic, Josh, Simon. JJ's not a bad shout. You never know. He's impulsive. He's really impressive. Why would it be us? We only have four horses, two dogs and a baby together. Oh, no. We're, are we talking about it in the chat as well? We are number one sidemen couple for living things. We've got child, two dogs and four horses and us two under one property. Mm. We have most living things. I guess who keeps them all alive? More. Me. It's me. How? And by the way, you don't pay for the horses. I feed the dogs. 
I feed you. <laughs> you don't feed me. I cook my I dinner, I feed mate. the dogs. I, I feed you. Every... When do you I feed me? I feed myself. I feed the when, child. When do you feed me? When? I feed you when? dogs. I when? feed you Rose so cooked me like... No, not a cooked times. meal, but like you didn't even I pay feed for it. You, bro. you don't pay for the food shop either. That's a lie. We no, take it's turns. not. Do you want me to go in it? We take turns. We only take turns when I go to the shop because I can't do it online because then it'll last for your fucking All right. code well, and it gets listen, on my nerves. So I just we, do it. it's a shared responsibility of keeping things alive. And I d- take. All right, I, can you send me five hundred quid for half the horses then? Fuck them, man. <laughs> I hate well, them. then it's not shared re- the responsibility. No, but I go down there and I feed them. Only when I have the baby and that's when you're coming up from the gym because I yep, don't I'll have feed, time I'll to go feed and feed them. my horses because he's them. down the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking eight o'clock. You're not riding a horse at eight o'clock. I want to ride at eight o'clock. I want to huh? give him dinner. Well then, ride him at some point then. I can't because you're not home, Draco. <laughs> I'm going to run away. Same. <laughs> Actually, you go. No. I'll stereotypically keep the house. No. You go. Uh, Who's left from the side men to get married yet? Us, JJ, uh, Josh technically, but he's going to, Toby and Harry. Harry. Harry's nowhere near. No. Harry's, I don't think Harry will, he might, Harry will never have a ceremony thing if he does it. But I think Harry's quite soppy actually. Like I think he's quite soft centred. Do you? Mm. Mm. Underneath it all. I don't think so. Well, he wants to see Olive. We're going around with Olive next week. Yeah, yeah. That, that, if we haven't, that, this is actually yeah, again. This is going to sound bad, but like this is the first time one of my friends has actually like oh, said, to see the baby. Oh, do you want to come around and like we want to see Olive or whatever? Mm. It's quite cool, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got sixteen months old. We got it's some. Finally friends. happened. <laughs> we got some friends. Um, <clears throat> KSI's gay. Oh right. That was a rumor. Right. Started by the fellas. Uh, did, uh, oh yeah, you read the pub football thing to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, the fellas come up with one of the ideas to uh, to do one of the classic UK pub chat sort of things that gets forwarded loads. <clears throat> it was really good. Freezy sent me it and was like, oh, what do you reckon of this? Is there any other changes that you'd make or whatever? And I was like, I read through it and was like, no, nah, actually, mm-hmm. I really like it. Because it was classic like written shit. It was, you, you'd done well. I watched the clip on the podcast as well. Um, and Freezy enlisted me to send it off to all of my... Sunday league chats, my football chats, my pub chats, whatever. All the Jared Bowens in there? Yeah, all mm. my Jared Bowens. I sent it to all my Jared Bowens. My 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 football lot like, ate it up because they, they know like who JJ is or whatever, but they fucking found it hilarious. Um, but it was good. It made it to like Liverpool. It made it around the country. Very good. Um, so yeah, KSI's gay. Oh, nice. But he's not Congrats. actually gay. Because he has got a missus. But he, yeah. Yeah, he's not gay. Uh, Ginger reveals he's got a girlfriend. Was he? Yeah, was I see he, like a TikTok on it, but I didn't know who the girlfriend was. No, I just see either. he went I creams. I see his like little soft launch. He soft launched. Yeah, he creams. Like a, I see he that on Insta. Picture and you could see, yeah, like, I was like soft launch. Yeah, yeah, bro, soft launched. Um, yeah, D- Danny and Ginger now taken men. They are twenty versus two. Now they're taken. Twitch streamers doing well. Yeah, I need to get back on there. Really, mm, you should. Someone take him, please. Fucking hell. You don't do his own washing. He won't cook. Will he go to the shops to buy the food? No. Yes! If you ask him to do your hot water bowl, be prepared for a fucking half hour moan as to why he moan. shouldn't do your hot, hot you water bowl. You are bowl. stitching me right up here. <laughs> if I've good, just got in bed... The you, whole truth and nothing but the, the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I've just got in bed. I'm ready. I've put my fucking shitty little eye mask on, getting ready to go to sleep. Goes, oh, can you do my hot water bowl? Ask me to do it before I fucking get in bed. Ask me Should to we do just it at the be right one time. of them um, couples that just swap partners? I think it might do some good for a week. No, who won? Please. <laughs> uh, British Army are asking people to sign up if conscription. Yeah, this is thing, worrying, by the way, because I don't like war talk. Faith didn't know what conscription uh, meant in the car. Neither did you. You said use it in a sentence. Uh, yeah, I said if I want to know. It meant when yeah, you uh, no, because I wanted the headline of what it meant, and then it, yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Yeah, I do get it. Go on then. No, it's Lead fine. Away. No, it's what it says. Okay. Getting people. Some people might not know what it what it means. Would you do the army? Um, it was funny, funnily enough, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I actually joined up for the army and I got a Facebook reminder of it seven years ago because I you? wanted to do the King's Troop. What did you do in the army then? Well, I didn't make it because I had asthma on my things, so I didn't let me in. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm now going to use that initiative. This one, I can't. I've got asthma. I've already tried, bro. I've literally already tried to help you guys. I wasn't good enough then. Yeah. I'm not I don't know if now. I'd be called upon. Maybe. Uh, uh, bro, you eczema. 29. You'd, you'd be in the medical tent the whole time. <laughs> Honestly. 
<laughs> and why he shouldn't go as well. The, what was it? Oh, yeah, the other night in bed before the arguments. Bloody hell, what a time. Back in the good old days. So he walked out to land and went, Faith, the TV's on downstairs. And he ran back you? in and he went, come with me. <laughs> Rose just asked his darling girlfriend <clears throat> to come downstairs. But the other to, week you was bigging me up. The other killer. week you was bigging me up when something what happened downstairs and I just went down there straight away. You was bigging me up to someone else the other week. Yeah, that was the whole alarm system. Yet you're scared of the TV. No, because it was just make, very... Make sense. I, you know, because I had turned all of the TV off. We got like a master remote that turns everything off, like kills it dead at the switch. I know I did that like not even 10 minutes ago. So I was like... Why but, the fuck? And you have to press a specific button to get the TV on. So I didn't press, how's this, it on? This is the weird things, by the way. I just loaded it up. I didn't press guide or on or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, but if you it, click But the what? screen just loaded. We've got an but, app as well on our yeah, phone, by the way. Yeah, it's on our phones, but I wanted to look at the security for the horses yeah. to check if they were back. But you'd accidentally click watch. And then when you click watch. I don't think I did. I think I just loaded up the TV bit and it must have just switched If you was on. already on watch, it would have mm. just loaded up. So that then rebooted the whole system. Yeah. So... I've but it was funny. Go and, Come what was it? I was, you asked me to do a, uh, it was a hot water bottle or a bottle. A paracetamol. Oh, oh or yeah, like it's time for my belly. Yeah. But I have girl problems. Faith's got my belly. shit problems. Um, the, and that being is that I just don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe but, that's why you're in a bad mind at the minute. Maybe you're literally so full of shit. Your gut is like, is leaking out into like your vibe and aura. Probably. It's probably why I had acne. Yeah. Yuck. She doesn't poo. Anyway. <clears throat> I was going downstairs and I was like, why the fuck's the TV on? That's weird. You know I turn the TV off. So I was asking merely out of curiosity, like, do you want to see what's down here? Mm. I'm not going to send you in and go, please help. You're going to throw me as bait. Yeah. Take her. <laughs> it's actually all set up. I've sent someone in. <laughs> yeah. um, but anyway, that would be why you wouldn't be good. I, listen, I think we should all rebel and turn around and fucking shoot the government. Right. What? Why? why should we fight for rich men arguments? I'm not involved. Am I sitting around your table? No. What? Send your own kids in, mate. Don't send mine. <laughs> if you've got all these fucking problems and you want everyone to fucking fight for each other, yeah. everyone's yeah. kids have got to sign I up. Send yours <clears throat> first. <laughs> if that's the mindset you're under, I hope your kids are fucking frontline before ours. I don't think I, I, they might call on me. 29. Mm. Knackered. I'm well, they probably would, mate. Men go to war, don't they? Yeah, I'm a little bit knackered. Uh, Theo and Calux would be fucked. They've got no chance. Yeah, but they'd be sent in, wouldn't they? Again, just use them as bait, throw them in. What? Got to do what you got to do. Theo Calux, <laughs> defend yourself. Uh, we actually don't even have like a first tier army anymore. We got downgraded. No, this is good. Like... Ain't Rishi just sent like, what's his name, Rishi? Is that right? I don't know. Richie or Rishi? I don't know. Richie I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll devoid a bit. Stanley Carr! Whoever's getting cut! Rishi. Because Rishi, it, it could Rishi. be racist though because there's another one. No, it is Rishi. Is it? Thank you. Uh, All right. Thank you. Because there, there's... <laughs> so I've Rishi Sunat. Yeah. Rishi Sunat, yeah. I forgot my whole point now because you... He done what? He sent money to who? Oh yeah. I see on Instagram so I saw um, Calyx under top like com comment. Well done, Lux. Um, under this um, like Shadesborough post or something, and it said that he's sending like two point three billion pounds to Ukraine, which is great. But now, if we're in war, we're gonna need that back. I don't pay attention to all that, but, but why are we I, getting I wouldn't, involved? I wouldn't, I wouldn't get your news off Shadesborough. I'm not gonna lie. So, I think we can both I'm not discredit for the anything we're one. saying. It has been <laughs> not. But can actually I just say, true. I don't think it should actually be on social media. So it actually really scares me. So I think, um, oh my god, this is the world for our kids. That or we should get visas somewhere else. He'll have us. We're really great together. We'll bring peace to your country. Um, <laughs> he wants us. What was I saying? You've completely not my train of thought now. <laughs> uh, Molly May's got a BBL era. I've seen this. Do you reckon she's actually had bits done? No. Or do you reckon she's just maybe started using glutey gains? <laughs> maybe. By the way, Ethan's bought me that for Christmas still in the box. One day, I'll have a Molly May. When it's out of the box. Well, you haven't um, used a treadmill. I've used it once. I said I need walking shoes. Hurt my feet. <laughs> it's, uh, it got hot. I was walking during Love Island in 10 minutes. 15. 15? Yes. I was cooked. But it was burning my feet because it's, it's going so fast. Anyway, um, I've seen the allegations. Now, this is not me jumping on or whatever. But from what I've seen is... Um, she didn't like her arms. And she made that very obvious on YouTube posts or... Um, what are they called? Vlogs. Vlogs. Um, and then she goes on holiday with Tommy and mm. she has 
what looks like because I feel like a lipo belly is very obvious like you know all the Geordie Shore girls they've got the lines in their stomach from where that big old needle was prodded there is a photo of lipo belly but again I don't know if that's edited or whatever some people have said it's a lip from having a baby now luckily my belly from having a baby is just normal well yeah you had you had olive ripped out of you so but it doesn't matter a belly would go to a belly as it was would it? Do you know what I mean? You're not gonna. I'm not gonna have weird indentation lines. Yeah, but that's right. Do you know what I, I mean? I don't really know yet. Um, again, it's my first baby. I don't know. Everyone's told me the second one fucks you up, so I'm just waiting. Um, but then they've said that she, they think she's had fat lipo from her arms because now she looks like she's got big shoulders from this video with skinny arms and had it transferred to the hips and bum. Fair dues. Fuck like, it. this is merely just all of what I've seen on TikTok. Yeah, I, I saw it on TikTok. The TikTok blew up. But yeah. it looks good. BBL is BBL in. Yeah, she'd live in a Vida Loca. I couldn't take fat out of anywhere. It'd just be fucking pointless. Where do you think I've got fat that I could tra- fat transfer to my bum? Oh, what did you say about my boobs last night? That's a good one. What did you say? Oh, no, oh, no we can't no, actually no, say no, that no, one. No, yeah, no, no, now no, I've remembered no, we can't no, say no, it. Never no, mind. No. Personal joke. No, no, no. no. It's really funny. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, this podcast has been a ride, man. I don't even know where I am at this point. Fuck me. You saw it on TikTok about Molly May. Yeah, it was yeah. Just the uh, of that again, thing. I'm so blissfully unaware of this stuff that fuck it, man. Crack on if you want to. If you want to be slim fit, be slim fit, man. Mm. Enjoy. Listen, it. I would if if I had fat in places that I didn't want it, and I could get it put into my bum or hips, I'd do it. Yeah, I'm just fucking tall all over. Um, last week we did a carousel of pictures on our Instagram mm-hmm. at Growing Pains Insta. And one of those pictures was you with Yaya Torre in your back garden. And by the way, I put that on my story. I reshared it saying I was like 14 there. Mm. And there was like, Bro, Twitter why? was weird in the replies. Yeah. this My DMs were like, Bro, you had more back then. Where's your bum gun? I was like, I've literally stated I was 14. Bro, no, but people were on Twitter even worse. They're like, Oh right, Yo Yo Tori was ragging out like this girl or whatever. Like, bro, you're talking about fourteen year old. Yeah, no, it's not. It's crazy. For reference, the older, the older man in the picture is your granddad. Yeah. And then you can tell the rest of the story. Yeah, that was my granddad. Um, so my granddad lives down the same road. I don't, I don't know if they do anymore, but they live down the same road um, as Yo Yo Tori's mum. Mm. Um, so my granddad is a plumber. They needed something fixed, plumbing wires in the house. He, she obviously said, oh. My son is Yaya Torre and Colo, is that right? Yeah. Um, didn't meet him though. And he was like, Oh, I've got like three grandsons. Um, would he come round and meet him? She was like, Oh, he's actually home now on Saturday, whatever. <laughs> so he just come round and it was super casual. Just Yaya Torre was in the garden. His bro. girlfriend is so nice. Yeah. And I don't know if they're still a secret. But I messaged her a while ago. I should probably see what she's doing. I'm not going to leak anything because I don't actually know what their life is on the internet. They might not even be together the, anymore. No, I think they are. All oh, right. Um, but yeah, no, she's super nice. She's yeah. around as well. But yeah, now we just had a nice little, little family get together with Yaya Torre. Yeah. Who, by the way, is like one of the best midfielders. Like, oh, but it was he's funny so good. in school, right? When I posted that, I bet people were gas. Oh my god, I was like, do you know when you see American films with the popular girl? Yeah. I was merely just. Look, at, so it's Yaya I was Torre. merely just a person that goes to school. I wasn't popular. It's Yaya unpopular. Torre, bro. I was just there, right? All around the school, I'd be walking through like the canopy and they'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. like proper chance. And I'd be like, oh my God. Oh, it's Yaya Torre. Yeah, nuts. But I, but to me, it's just Yaya Torre. Like, been in my garden. <laughs> you know, it's Yaya. <laughs> yeah, but Yaya, I'm not, we're friends. not really a football person, but yeah, we are friends. So it's like, no sweat. Yeah, but you life. weirdos on the internet are just so <laughs> fucking odd, mate. Like, yeah, don't tell me replies. I've got more bum as a 14 year old. That's pretty rude. <laughs> People said you look like a young Lauren Alexis, yeah, which I, I can see in, yeah. that, in that picture. I had a lot of puppy fat on my face. I can, I can see that in that picture. Yeah. You do look. Like and when I do eat, yeah, it's going to sound bad. When I do eat, it goes straight to my face. Yeah. Bump. Yeah, I remember you telling me that when we first got together. You it's was like, awful. You was like, if I eat, my cheeks just go lump. It's my cheeks and my chin. Why? You'd, uh, yeah. Look it's... like a hamster. <laughs> it's like water weight in my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, it says here, does, does Faith know who he is or is it a Rio Ferdinand part two? Remember, you didn't know who Rio Ferdinand was. Oh, no, I d- I d- honestly, I didn't know who he was when he come round. I'd, even at the time, I didn't know who what team he played for or anything like that. <laughs> Merely just thought, Jesus Christ, his feet are massive. It's a big footballer. Yeah, his feet were nothing. But he is like six foot saint. Like, yeah. 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 Hey, friendly guy. Yeah, big guy, yeah, mate. Very yeah. cool. Um, all right, moving on. The film of your lives. <laughs> 
If a movie of your lives were to be made, who would play you and what would it be called? Jesus Christ, probably Cara, Cara Delevingne. Cara Delevingne's a good shout. Both got big eyebrows and I'm pretty sure she's going through mental breakdowns on that and all, so good match. Yeah. Um, I used to get told I look like her in school. Not now, it's not reach. In school, when I used to be blonde and I had massively dark eyebrows. Sorry, the door went again. I opened it for him. Um, I would pick... Prince Harry, can I have some of your drink, please? Of course, my darling wife. Oh, yeah. I've got another story. Right. Uh, who, who looks like me? I get like people that say... Do you know what's funny? I think so many people look like you. Like every, And I know this is probably like ginger racism. I think a lot of ginger people look exactly the same. Can ginger I say racism. that? Ginger racism. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. This is Faith's world. We're just living in it. No, because... Ginger racism, right? Okay. So there's a boy that I used to see in school, right? right? Not seriously or anything like that. It was just classic fancy your brother's mate situation. Yeah. Had to see him. I have seen a clone of this man so many... I think I've seen... I'm going to call him like Ben for reference. He's... Just as a stage name. I've seen this Ben guy in like six different forms. I've had to like double take and I'm like, it's just so So who do you think I look like? Well, I think you're a bit different, but they all look exactly the same. So I'm a bit... <laughs> they all look exactly the same. Exactly what? the same. And Every this, just proves, this same. just proves my point. I've always liked ginger, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I, I, people tell me I look like people all the time, but I don't know. Wayne Mooney. I used to get that at school all the yeah, time when I, I was did. when I was a little bit more rounder on the on the face. A little bit. <laughs> no, at school I was actually not really fat. It was after school that got bad. School I was like just a little bit chubby. Just regular sort of puppy child fat I was at school. Back then I used to think I was massive. Mm. Whoa, I didn't know what was coming next. And then you just had burger fat. Yeah, then burger I just, fat, burger pasta. Then I just fucking And lemonades, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I blew up. But yeah, at school I was just puppy fat and people used to say very really. Um Actor wise, who can I pick that's like fit, sexy, handsome, really cool? Who's really cool, fit, sexy, handsome? How funny! This is his analysis, and I've just gone off of mental breakdowns <laughs> I, and eyebrows. No, I, this is <laughs> this is a chance to to portray myself. Do you know what's real? Oh, I can't. Can I talk about it? I can't fucking talk about it yet, but soon I can talk about it. We filmed something recently that is sort of it's a little bit outdated now, but it was whilst you. Pre I'm fucking massive in all of it. And I you know what's funny? So much. I me and, me and it. Ethan laugh. I hate it <laughs> we so laugh much. about it now. But when we went on our baby moon to Greece while I was oh heavily pregnant, God. we looked back on the pictures and Ethan was ginormous. And I, I can, was fucking huge. Now, I can honestly say when I'm with Ethan, I don't really notice when he's big or not. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm just with Ethan, if that makes sense. You don't really notice your partner fluctuating well, you up or down so much. you see someone every day, so you don't really notice. This yeah. is what I'm saying. But now we look back on the pictures, you was big boy. Big Bro boy. Bro got pregnant with me. Bro was pregnant with you. With twins. Big. I was <laughs> big. Like, there was there was nothing. I think Moto Moto likes Yeah, me you. getting out of the pool, man. <laughs> <laughs> I look big. But I actually prefer boys chubby anyway, so. Yeah, Faye says she misses my gut. I do I do actually miss it. it. Comfy and cuddly. People always say to me, "Yeah, but you wouldn't have been Ethan with Ethan whilst he was fat." And I'm like, "No, not Define that fat. fat." Because I've I've been with you whilst you've been a bit of chumps. You've been with me whilst I was. I wasn't mortifying fat. But when I did was, we go, Grace? Like last year. Every time, all, every time I've been with you, yeah, I've still had like arms, arms and shoulders, and yeah, that yeah. like disguise it well. But the gut was fucking outrageous. But yeah, like if you you wouldn't have got with me when I didn't have arms or shoulders because I was fucking fat. No, and I like big arms and shoulders. Right, Greece, June. It doesn't need to show anyone pictures of my big big self. No, I want to show you. No, but I know. Look at loving this. Look, I <laughs> use fat, <laughs> bro. That's fine. Yeah, look, that's fine. Show everyone. Should I zoom in? Look, oh my, bro. Where's... Look at that. Peak malform. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. Bro, I got fucking mahoosive. Even I wasn't that fat. Listen, this is what I'm saying. My my uh, my fall off needs to be studied. <laughs> but, um, hey, I'm still when when Faith first got with me, by the way, I was a fucking unit. 
Like Oh, he always blames me. My arms were so big. I'm not the feeder. Uh, this sounds but like compared to what they are now, yeah. My shoulders were like fucking round. Like I had big arms. My triceps were massive. My chest was big. My legs were great. Now I'm just like I know there's a picture little. of us. There's a picture of us somewhere next to each other. And and you've I'm, never ever allowed me to show it. Where? I'm just trying to find it. Um how funny, Jamie. But, Jamie was just in Greece when we was just stumbled across that Would it, it make your day to show everyone? Oh, here it is. Let me so. See <laughs> Let me see if I was, what one is it? We're next to each other. <laughs> oh, the gigantic man in his pants. But we took a picture next We're to each other, pregnant. brushing our teeth. Can I show? Yeah. I think I was like eight months. Yeah. Eight months pregnant, so he almost didn't let me Yeah, who, who is pregnant So there? me and Ethan next Look to each other. Look at his boobies. I've got boobies. Our They're pregnant, boobies. Look at our pregnant bellies together. Yeah, we was pregnant, bro. Flesh to me. Fair That's dues, like though, because like, people can get to that Do you want word. me to send you it, Proddy? Yeah, send them for the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some people might not come back from that, but look look at the look, the jawline is back. I'm here, man. Yeah. And I, plus, I, I look and feel good today. Yeah. Like, here today. I fucking should train in twice a day and yeah, recovery. No, I'm, take piss. I am in, like, You should feel like a great fucking god, mate. I'm getting there. Meanwhile, I've still got a track nerve and a Do you know what eight. I might take up? Oh, we're that we're your younger brother takes out. up? Moaning. Sun beds. Because I am... You're defo just going to get skin cancer. The other day, when we was filming at Chris MD, yeah? It was cold, wet, windy. It was a horrible day. Yeah. But we got it done. I'm not joking yet. My legs and like from here downwards... You wouldn't, if someone pulled me out of a fridge in a morgue, you wouldn't have been just, I look dead. No, you are very powerful. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I've also saw recently uh, that it can actually really boost your vitamin D levels. Yeah, it can instead also of taking really a tablet. give you cancer. It can also give you cancer. Yeah. Well, I don't want to go in there for that long, but there's one outside the station. So the other, I was walking past the station last night. Do you know what? You can take this hobby up because he, he can only get a two minute sunburn and he'll saying, be out yeah. again. So, and you know the car park's there and the, the tanning shop is here. Yeah. So I was thinking after every side cast, I might just pop in for two, three minutes because I look dead. I <laughs> and like saw. Oh. Underneath this, this underneath here, all of here, yeah, is so bright white. I would benefit from not being bright white. But why? Because I want to look nice. You do look nice. Oh, thanks. Do you like to look at me? Yeah. Do you think I'm hot? Sometimes. What do you mean sometimes? When you're being nice. When do you think, when, when have I ends. ever looked my hottest? When's my hottest? Um, I do still like you in them grey tracksuit bottoms. That's like, by the way, like a year ago now that I, that I bought That's those. That's my fault. You've never worn them again. I went out of the house one day in grey tracksuit bottoms and Faith now recalls that as like the best I've ever looked, which by the way, I just didn't even look like. So when did that. I look good then? All the time. Yeah. You do look gorgeous. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. Actually, I do think uh, on holiday, there was uh, w one dinner when you were doing your natural hair and I thought, Whoa, wow. That's when I told you it looks really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Autism. <laughs> also, <laughs> Can't accept compliments. Uh, you look really fit when... Bloody uh, hell, it's like being back at school. You look really fit in that picture that we've got in black and white when you was pregnant, but no one knew. And we went to that jazz night. Oh, yeah. yeah so when I was extreme, borderline anorexic, no, size no. four in clothes. I thought you're smaller now. No, no yeah. way. I know what the picture that is, and I'd love my arms to be that small, but that would mean I eat one cracker a day again. <laughs> At least now I eat but three. But th that picture of us, even then with my long hair, I think that's a good looking couple. Yeah, no, it's good. I also had chin filler there, so is that Did fine? You? Yeah. No. Is that you a look, fine? You'd have fit in that pic. Here we go. You don't fit that even. I like like a, a a hugging dress on you is nice. No, it's not. It is. <laughs> I liked it. This is how I am. Take it or leave. This is what I get like 360 days of the year. There's like five days through, through the year that she might wear something different. But I don't. I don't like my legs or my arms or my belly. Which is silly because they're all great. Yeah. No, listen, because that was pre-baby, that photo, and I can try and find it, Proddy, and send Don't it. Don't worry, we'll send all these pictures. I think it's on your Instagram, actually. It will be on my yeah. Instagram, yeah. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I was so just not eating at all at that stage in my life that I was just flat all the time. you still working at the thingy then? At the nursery? Yeah. I don't think so. No? Maybe. Maybe. Because if so, you would go to work with, like, an apple. Yeah. And then come home, and that was it. Yeah, come home with a headache. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, bro, the amount of times, yeah, even still to this day in our relationship, I've got, oh, 
fucking head's really kill. I say, what, you drunk water today? No. When's the last time you drank water, bro? Like fucking I drink it three at weeks ago, did you drink water? I drink it at night time. No, you, and it, again, you should take some of my electrolyte uh, things because mm -hmm. it hydrates you four times more than water will. And you are missing out on all the key electrolytes. That's mm -hmm. why. Yeah. You got big issues. Mm -hmm. Big issue, big issue. Uh, right, moving on. Uh, you're fit and I like you. That's then that segment. Thanks. Just a bit all out of shape. Did you know when you in Tesco's? You think I'm fit. You know when, <laughs> One second, talk over me. We get autism. When you know in Tesco's when there's like an un well you don't know you've never been to a bloody shop in your life when they sell like the un un the misshaped but you should still love them bag of carrots and stuff. No, that's what I feel like I look like now. You don't. You look great. No, since having a baby, it's just all just wobbly. It's not wobbly. It is. They it's cut me all my belly open. Didn't sew my abs back together. Right, this one's going to be fun though. We're moving on Rude. now. Rude. Right, game time. Yeah. Here we go. You've got a list of 10 words. You're going to give me clues. I've got to try and guess the word. Bosh, let's okay, go. Okay, so if we're not in sync with this, then what? Then we break up and the podcast sure. over. Sure, we're just not meant to be. Yeah, sure. Okay, fine. Word one. Cut. Dog. Yeah. Well, that was good. What? Give me a round of applause. Well, that was just easy. All right, number two. I would have said lead. But you said I can't make it difficult. You would have said lead yes. for a dog. Well, it's not opposite. So it's you it? would have said lead. Yeah, put it on the dog. No, but like you got a finger. So, right, okay, sure. Okay. All right, word number two. Cow. Milk. Yes. Yes. Well done. Mm. This one's a bit tricky. You're not going to get it. Expired. What the fuck? Or new Air Force Ones. <laughs> Expired on new Air Force Ones. What the fuck? Get another word, please. Do you want the answer? No, another word. Give me another clue. Oh. You got to keep cluing me until. Oh, sorry. I thought it was just no. Because you've you, and you. By the way, you, I feel like you fucked this one. No, it's a hard one for you Expired to guess. Expired and new Air Force Ones. Yeah. Right. What would you say they are? No. Give, okay. give it another word. Um, Lenore out of the washing machine. Fresh. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> that was so much better than expired. Well, it's not one word though, is it? Expired. Yeah, expired and it's fresh. Well, the the linen one was good. Yeah, yeah. well done. All right, next word. Free promo, Lenore. Don't that took like it. fucking loads of clues though. So we've butchered that. Yeah. Um. Word number four. Chocolate. Bar. No. Sorry, that was probably my fault. Okay. P potato. <laughs> Mash. No. Chip. Mm, if you're American. Crisp. Yes. Ah, nice. Okay. <laughs> Bro said chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate or crisps. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate. You said chocolate. <laughs> I said for crisps. I you said chocolate. I said it probably wouldn't have been a great one. It works for like cat or dog. But like, <laughs> it doesn't work for Chris. Sure. Pencil. Sharpener. No. Pen. Yes. All right. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> um. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Dying? Death. No. Suicide. No. Killing. No. Let me change the word. Please do. Um. Born. Life. Yes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Dying. <laughs> um, if you started with born, might have had a chance. Yeah, well, I didn't think of that first, did I? Right. Otherwise, probably would have said it first. Um, okay. Small adult. Child. Yes. Um, protected. Condom. No. <laughs> Give me another word. Uh... Safe, safeguarding your items and details. A safe. No. Password. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> um, red. Danger. Oh, you fucking idiot! No. Blue. No. What? Red. Red. Yellow. <laughs> this one is so easy. Red. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's like becoming a Spider-Man meme, I Red. Think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, every country has one. Flag. Yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 We've butchered this game massively, by the way. Because you've I just thought that was so easy. Uh, red fresh flag. out of the washing machine. Uh, well, the that's, washing machine. That's, oh, sorry. Friday, I'll text that by accident. Uh, I just said, oh. Um, red. And you said, for a flag, yeah. you said red. I would have got that straight away. You said red flag. 100%. Right. Summer. Sun. No. Windsor. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Is it my turn now? I've got 10 words for you. Mm -hmm. This is your time to shine. Number one. Tap. Water. Bosh. Well done. Dumb. Smart. Bosh. Pull. Push. Other word. Mm. I'll fuck the game anyway. Uh... <laughs> All right. So... <laughs> I can't say anything. Uh, <laughs> button. Push. Start. You just said push. You just said push. Press. Well done. You just said push. <laughs> you repeated it. Uh, ooh. Uh, hmm. Uh, <laughs> Bloody hell, I didn't take this long. No, because I'm actually trying to play the game and get make you get it in one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Have you uh, done the games? Yeah, I've done it. Right. Word number four. Lunch. Dinner. No. Uh, baguette. Bread. Two. Eat. <laughs> Think about your last two answers. You said baguette. bread. Bread. And then I said Dough. two. Two. I don't understand the two. To eat. Bread. <laughs> Sandwich. Pieces. Of bread. Oh, pizza bread. Pizza. <laughs> Filling. Jacket potato. Fuck me. <laughs> Think about your answers. I'm leading on sandwich. from your answer. Well done. I said that. No, you didn't. Not once did you say oh sandwich. Oh replay that. Didn't I say sandwich? She didn't say sandwich, did she? Thank you. There's a nod in the corner. When did you say sandwich? I said sandwich. When? Well, I can't relate when, but I said it. I don't it. think you said sandwich. Oh, not my once. God. I, this is proof you don't I do not think you me, said guys. sandwich. All right, next one. Um, uh, can we clip that and then just slow-mo it? And bright. then put it in black and white of me saying it. Bright. Dim. Yeah, you are. Uh, you need a haircut. Picture. Frame. Think about what I said. I said bright, then I said picture. Oh, I thought we moved on. I thought go bright. No, I, no. I, bright I, said no. I said dim. No. Bright and picture are your clues so far. My belly. Bright, picture. Brightness. I don't get what the picture comes in. Light. Light. Light picture. Light picture. Bright. <laughs> Dying. I don't know. Walking into it. Uh, Are you going to tell me you said this word as well? What? No, <laughs> I did say it. You fucking. Uh, I did say it. Think about this as the song. Mm. Uh, Mission Impossible. What's the missing bit? Flash. Yes. How was Flash white and picture? Bright, light, picture. Could have just said fast. Or the cleaning spray. We got it at home. <sighs> Sure. Um, pedo. Jimmy Savile. No. What? <laughs> pedo. File. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. It was file, but I just, yeah. <laughs> um, learning. Curve. <laughs> Smart. Not learning. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Smart. Not smart. Teacher. Jesus is. <laughs> Learning and teacher, I've said. Tutor. Building. School. Well done. There you go. Uh, camera. Photo. I'll give her that. It's photograph, but I'll give her that. Um, 
Uh, offspring. Baby. Owls. Olive. Yes. No, it's well done. <laughs> uh, horse. Nay. <laughs> she has not just said nay. <laughs> no, no. Horse. House. Oh, what? Horse house. Stables. There you go. Nice. There you go. Wow. Horse nay. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking mental. Ugh. You just got used to teaching. That's not going to be one of the words, is it? Horse, nay. <laughs> um, well, that I was think that. we was both rubbish at that. We was quite shit at that. And we both didn't do the game as it was yeah, meant to be done. Yeah, we both didn't play it properly. No, but it was quite fun. I like playing games on this podcast. It's a bit of a It's a bit of it's a nice bit of couples bonding that. Are we going to talk on the way home? Only if we stop by McDonald's, I'm seriously I'm hungry. Like, I want McDonald's. I want chicken nuggets. Yeah, you don't want chicken nuggets. Ethan threatened to throw my last um, McDonald's oh, out the window because uh, well, it was actually when we left the podcast before a while ago, right? So I went, I really fancied barbecue sauce mainly and the chicken nuggets from McDonald's, right? And went out of my way to go to Bow Roundabout McDonald's. It's not which really is hell. It's like five minutes away. Hell. Um, anyway, um, so we went. Done the order, paid for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you went there, paid for it, like six pounds, whatever. Remember, guys, my millionaire. Don't cry about that, okay? He's fine. Stop doing that. It's really distracting. I can't think. Sorry. We got, we got, we got to the um, the till where they give you all the food. Ethan just pulled down. I went. Have they put the sauce in? He's gone. Bro, I already and why left the window. do you have to do that? Bro, right. just can't take. He has she to gave me rush the food. through I said, everything. Thank you. I left. And then you as we leave, I didn't say thanks. The lab I was gone. We've already hit the fucking M1 at this point. As we leave, pulling out onto the main road again, she goes, Oh, you didn't check if they got the sauces. No, oh, I can't go back now. The minute, and, and the minute you sped off, I said, Where are you driving? I'm not going home. Yourself. That's where I'm going. But you just don't, you don't slow down. So then she got in the right arm and was like, oh, yeah, I was so craving that. And I was what? I should have just bought you barbecue sauce then. So I tried chicken eat, nuggets. Eat chicken nuggets and chips and enjoy it. But you don't understand, right? So it was just before the woman's monthly time. Right? I really wanted that fucking barbecue sauce. Either way, I then kidnapped Faith's nuggets and chips and said, you ungrateful, spiteful cow. Yep. I'll eat them or I'll chuck them out on the motorway. Yeah. So you got told off. Anyway, listen. It's been a journey. If you are listening to this whilst on a journey, I hope you have a great time and you get to the place you are going oh, to. Um, subscribe if you're listening on YouTube. Like the video if you're watching us. And if you thought this was all bitter and hateful, go back to your room and start playing with your toys. You're not old enough for this podcast. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a pleasure, guys. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Follow on all audio platforms. Do all that jazz. Rate us five stars because it's definitely five star entertainment, man. No, this one was bloody. This hard. is what Harry's been waiting for, by the way. Oh, this yeah, Harry's this is what got Harry's his been pod. waiting for. Harry has finally got his podcast. Harry's got his pod where he's like, I can't wait till they're just like. We we'll have a full on scrap. Just having scraps. And we had to because we started the podcast like, what are you doing? You had a good week. Mm, yeah, that's yeah, just fucking great. aggressive, mate. I ain't talking <laughs> to you at the minute. Um, yeah, links uh, on social media to everything is in the description of the YouTube and that. Uh, follow us, rate five stars. Really appreciate it. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye.